All right. Thank you to everyone for your support. To support us here, you guys can donate to us at the um, PayPal um, at themullings at gmail.com. Those of you with ticket citations, mortgages, foreclosures, utilities, and those of you having child support cases, go to your spouse first or your former spouse and try to work on an arrangement with them privately. Then you can come back to us and get the GSA bonds, SF 30, 14, 14, 14, 16, 14, 18, and the 14, 14. In addition to, you can also get the performance bond, the bid bonds, the payment bonds, the letter of rogatory, the foreign affidavit, and the notice of set off, right? And then you're using the unlimited credit, the unlimited credit, unlimited credit on the social security numbers, social insurance numbers, tax registration numbers, ETC, and the birth certificate bonds, unlimited credit to set off, set off, set off, because you can't pay for anything, right? Um, so as per the Federal Reserve promise to pay. So you're using the set off um, uh, unlimited um, credit accounts to set off the matter, right? Uh, you can email us for those templates at the mullings at gmail.com and then you do the 1099 OID um, to get back those finances they claimed on those court claim documents, right? Um, now, um, well, we start with the scripture here, Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth it, Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Um, the Lord is thy... Hang on, scroll down so you guys can see it. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun will not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this day forth and even forevermore. All right, I want to thank all of you in the comment section and all of you um, sharing your stories and journeys with us. Congratulations to, I want to say, E, 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 um, or E, M, 222 on the birth of your new um, baby girl. Just cherish every single minute. Um, when they're so small, they grow really, really quickly. Um, yeah, and take lots, lots, lots of pictures. All right. Um, a bunch of you guys were, there's so much stuff to talk about at the same time. I'm going to try to see if I can um, uh, remember everything here. Yesterday, you know, guys, we were talking about this um, portal coming up. Yesterday, I was looking at the, the full moon. So bright and beautiful here last night. Um, start wishing into existence things that you guys want to see manifest. And something I want to touch on. I was talking to some people recently, and I had overheard, actually, a conversation that some people were having about a situation that seems happened many moons prior and they were upset about the um, situations that occurred and had managed to think about or um, focus on a circumstance that took place many moons prior. Now, you guys know we study law and we always tell you law and history goes hand in hand. So when you're able to study law and history, a lot of those situations that you used to um, worry about or think about or whatever, kind of dis they disappear because you begin to realize that all those entities, had they been doing the very same, the circumstances that you were subjected to or they were subjected to, they probably could have avoided, right? And so I say this to say that someone had told us years ago um, how they deal with situations. And at first I was like, what do you mean? I don't understand. And it took me a minute for me to hear exactly what they were saying, man. And when you study law and history, it all falls into place. And what they were saying to me was that whenever somebody does something or something happens, they make a choice. And the choice they make is not to get emotionally wrapped up in any of it. So something comes by or whatever the situation is, they choose to keep walking and not get any kind of emotional attachment to the situation. They remedy it 
to the best of their ability and move on. When I first heard that, I was floored because I was thinking, well, yeah, but this and that, whatever. It took me a really long time to understand how significant and important that is to be able to continue on your journey and keep walking irrespective of who you meet on the on the on your journey and what their situation is or what their hang-ups are or their isms and schisms it's theirs so you have to leave it with them and let them figure out what they want to do with that situation right your stuff you deal with lawfully and we tell you where to go you guys can go back to we have quite a few videos that we've created now um, for you to use and some of you have written to us um, about your situation too. So we've shared the videos with you. Guys can go to those videos and um, just, yeah, the whole harmless agreement, indemnity bond, um, indemnity, the whole harmless and indemnity agreement, as well as the 1776 common law copyright. I really highly recommend you guys do those two first, right? And what is the significance, dear God in heaven, of the whole harmless agreement. Do you know, um, when I first started this and I heard about the whole harmless, I was pissed off. I'm not going to lie. Because I thought the whole harmless and indemnity agreement was holding them harmless. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> they have to be held accountable for all the crap that they did. Not realizing after I read the document, it was about holding ourselves and the straw men harmless. So you do that and send it over to Stephen Mnuchin doing business as secretary for the treasury. And you also do the common law copyright, the 1776 one, right? Because they go hand in hand. The numbers on the common law copyright correspond with the numbers on the hold harmless indemnity agreement. So you have to put those two numbers there. You can use your birth, your birth date. We use the Moorish American um, National identification card or private numbers that we were given on it in addition to the birth date and the registered um you know what's so amazing i was thinking about the registered post um numbers i don't want to go off and forget something two couple things jonah bay that i was talking about yesterday it's a different jonah bay this is not jonah bay i was thinking about anyways but this jonah bay has a seminar coming up it's 300 dollars for the tickets, um, jonahbay.com. It's J-O-N-A-H-B-E-Y-B-E-Y.com. And it's where March 20, it's when? March 24th, um, what is the time here? Say 11 a.m. to, I want to say 7 p.m. Um, where? At 11.32, um, oh gosh. I can hardly see this. Let me see if I can bring it up so I can see it a little bit better because it's difficult for me to see it here. Does it say Tretch Techwood Drive, Northwest Atlanta, Georgia? And then it says, um, hang on, Atlanta, Georgia, 30318 Courtyard by the Marriott, Atlanta, Midtown, Georgia Tech Seminar. Atlanta seminar going in on Express Trust. Get your tickets at jonahbay.com. I don't know this Jonah Bay. I don't know anything about um, this particular Jonah Bay. Um, I don't, I've never been to any of their um, seminars. I don't know. So I can't recommend anything or tell you guys any, you know, you guys got to go do your research on this guy and the information that he's putting forth. I pray to God it's really great and it can help everybody. Eh? Now, a um, couple things. Let me see which one. Yesterday, after I made the video and I was talking about um, the portal that's opening up on mm, March the 9th, right? I was talking about the full moon and I was talking about the gold back um, currency, the gold back money is the gold back securities whatever is coming in play or whatever is already here, right? Eh? And I was saying, is it about the dinars being revalued? And I was talking about the movie Indiscreet, and I was talking about the Indians um, that I saw on the picture look like in the background. In speaking about that movie, somehow I was drawn to talking about the 2012 film 
2012 is a 2009 American disaster film co-written and directed by Roland Emmerich. The film was produced by Harold Closure, Mark Gordon, and Larry J. Franco. Um, John Jackson Curtis is a discontented writer, battles against all odds to keep his family secure when a series of apocalyptic calamities threatens um, to decimate humankind. Now, a couple of things. We were talking about the number 13, and Mark Christopher was explaining that if we have 13, we can have court. Now, I got a document yesterday. Um, I want to thank, oh gosh, what's his name? I want to say Dex. Um, no, it wasn't Dex, it was somebody else. If I find his name that sent it to me, I'm going to put it in the description. Below. A huge thank you to you. My offspring was able to read it for me to go through what was um, important for me to talk about. And sure enough, in it was talking about 13. Was it that one? Yeah, it was that one. And it was also another document I was reading. I think it was, I want to say Patrick Devine was talking about the 13 digits. On the non-UCC, right? You're putting down the 13 digits from the registered post numbers. The registered post numbers 13 digits is the court of 13 that you need to win the court matter, to do court. You are the 13 digits. That number is what you used to set off whatever the court matter is, right? So in addition to using the, um, the social security numbers and the, um, the, uh, the birth certificate bond numbers on the IRS notice of set off, you're going to see the section that says where to put the 13 digits from the registered post number for the matter that you are setting off on the GSA bonds. If you guys have other GSA bonds from Patrick Devine, I would do those as well or do those first, see if they work because they should work. I don't see why Patrick Devine's information should be any different. Um, it should be point on because I really like his stuff. We got some of his stuff. We tweaked it a bit for us as nationals here. That was the only thing that I saw he left out for us as nationals. But um, those of you doing it can utilize that too and see, implement it with the 13 digits on the, um, and that's what Copper Bridges was talking about in his um, uh, comment to us as well, too, about the 13 digits. Some of the stuff you guys, we can go into, but the other stuff too, we have to be mindful of. A couple things. I know a lot of us are pissed out at a lot of stuff that's taking place in that, and I don't blame us for being mad because um, we know that a lot of, Entities were um, out there offering a lot of support to us in different capacity, capacities and stuff. Now, what we've grown to, to learn over time, each one of those gurus offering information was of use in some sort of a way. It may not have had all the information that each one of us needed. A, like some of us who are nationals had to go to rvbaypublications.com. We had to go over to Grand Sheik Tosh Tariq Bay for some information. We had to go over to Jonah Bay. We had to go to USFL. We had to go to the different entities to gather bits and pieces of information to put it all together to make it one. So we can't condemn those out there who are doing stuff now because it didn't fully work in that capacity. See what I'm saying? So when you've done the research for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, you can now look at everything, hindsight 2020, and say, oh, that worked. I use that, I use the touch of that, I use the touch of this and this. You see what I'm saying? So you do you. You put all the packages, all the information you get, you gather together. Put a little bit of you in it, whether it's a scripture or yourself, whatever. Um, your blooding thumbprint, whatever. In it and make it work for you. Because we have received a lot of those sovereignty packages from people around the globe offering their work and stuff to people and they look really 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 great really great actually a lot of the stuff that's in them is very useful and we were saying to people 
Why didn't you use this when you got it? Why didn't you implement this? Because they didn't understand it. They didn't read it. And they didn't, even if they read it, they didn't really comprehend what it was all about. When you're doing the research for 30, 40, 50, whatever years, you begin to overstand all the people's stuff that they present to you in that. And you can see that it's very useful. You see? So I can't go off or I can't read a lot of stuff that people share about this, that, and the other because all of it works together for the greater good of those who love and serve God, as the scripture says. Right? Now, um, when I looked at this movie yesterday, I'm going to see if I can put this down if you guys can hear me, right? Because I want to read some of the stuff, and it was so symbolic. You guys, go and watch the movie 2012 today, right? And I took notes, pages upon pages of notes that I took here on this movie. Um, let me see if I can read my handwriting now to make sense of it, because there were a lot of numbers in here. Um, the house number for um, Jackson Curtis's wife's, um, his wife, him and his wife was divorced, right? The number on the house was one, one, two, four, five, um, one, one, two, four, five. And I want to say two, you know what that number adds up to? 13. Um, I hope I got those numbers right. The Indian, um, there's a house number. Um, see the Indian painting. Okay. In the hotel where um, the agent doing business as um, government official is having that fundraiser, it's in the hotel. I think it's a continental hotel, right? He's raised 1.7 million. That's an eight. Now he's raised 1.77 is what circle seven. That's more is right. He um, in the in the background of where he's speaking, you see the Indians in that painting on the wall, the huge mural behind his head, right? Then you see the Moor that's standing adjacent to him in the office of what? The hotel where they're having the fundraiser. So the Moor made a express trust, an agreement with the United States Corporation, with the Indians in the background, in the forefront, whether the Indians were aware of it or not. Do you see what I'm saying? Because everything is about trust. Somebody else shared, gosh, I hope I don't, um, forget your name. Is it? It's not Prodigal Son. There's somebody else that shared. Pablo shared a Facebook link with us. You guys go to the comment section in the last couple of videos we created. You'll see I've put the link to that Facebook page and you'll see where a Homeland Security agent was apparently charged for, I think they said embezzlement. And I was thinking, well, if they're going to charge him or her, mm, for embezzlement, don't they have to charge all of them? Because isn't that the kettle curse in the pot black? Now, um, there was, yeah, and the, the cost for the tickets to go on this ship, this and it wasn't a ship, it was an ark, like Noah's Ark, right? And they had all the animals that they'd secured, the giraffes and the, the elephants and whatnot. It was 1 billion euro. And I was thinking, who was being told that it was 1 billion euro? Was Curtis Jackson's character... And it was um, Woody Harrelson. Um, is that his name, Woody Harrelson? Um, yeah, he was also, he was a guy who looked like a nut bar in the movie, played the guy um, named Charlie. And Charlie was saying, was explaining to, to Curtis Jackson's character how much these tickets were. Anyways, long story short, the guy or the, the so-called agent doing business, Arab prince or whatever he was, he was in, I guess, Middle East. And it just reminded me when I saw him and they were telling him about the, the 1 billion euros per head, per family member. I was thinking that they're probably talking code, that they're talking about the reevaluation of the dinars. In, in addition to the fact, you notice all the water in these pictures, right? You know, it was the birth certificate bonds that they created at birth. And I was thinking how they did that. We were, it was explained to us that they use the afterbirth. So when the women, when we gave birth, there's an afterbirth that comes out, right? You know how your water breaks and then after your water breaks, then the baby comes out, then there's an afterbirth. They pulled out after that. They created the so-called Suskadevi Trust and the birth certificate bonds and everything else off of that afterbirth, right? So I was thinking about the flooding of the water 
in lieu of, I know it's an allegory, I know it's codified, but I was thinking of all the, the, the water that broke from us mothers, right? And now the water, mother nature, get it? It's coming back to take, to, yeah, to reclaim all of that crap that was subject, we were subjected to, right? Without our knowledge in that, as per the baby act, because we were not aware as babies, we couldn't do a contract. Now, um, one of the signs that you see shortly thereafter is a sign saying El Paso, El meaning um, Moors, right? Um, you also see another sign saying KK22, and I, I was thinking about the KKK Act because everything, all these Nazi communists were operating under the KKK Act, whether they knew it or not. And then um, his sons, um, uh, it, well, okay, the guy, one of the main characters is a scien the scientist, right? And he has his father, who is a performer on a ship. And um, his father's friend, this guy named Harold, he's um, estranged from his son. His son is married to who? A Japanese woman, right? Um, who they haven't spoken in however long. And then what gave it away about the, the some of the corruption going on was the Mona Lisa painting. Mona Lisa, we deciphered, was Al, Mona Lisa, one word, Monal, Al, A-L, more. So whether more is free white people, American Indians, free white people. Anyways, so that Mona Lisa painting was supposed to be a fake, right? And um, all the, what we've discovered is all the painters were whitewashed, Right. So they went through after the so-called, there's even a, 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 a scene in here where they're in the plane and they hit the Eiffel Tower, the tip of it. And I was thinking about the Eiffel Tower. I fell. Remember they said the Moors fell? I fell, E-L? Yeah. So they hit the plane and that fell down, right? Uh, they hit the, the Eiffel Tower. And then they were talking about, um, yeah. Ah, the car, yeah, the car that he was driving, um, uh, Curtis Jackson's character, there was a scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger is talking on the TV, and he was saying, you know, telling a, a lie politically that there's been no earthquakes or nothing in California when they just suffered one. So the family's getting ready to have pancakes this Saturday morning, and um, the father, uh, Curtis Jackson, um, his character is, um, yeah, he realizes that where he's standing, there's an earthquake about to happen. So he calls his wife or his ex-wife and says, get out of the house immediately. And she's arguing with him. And luckily he manages to get in the limousine and go and pick them up. But um, yeah, they get, and they go camping at Yellowstone. Yellowstone is a national park, right? National. Mm belongs to the heirs, American Indians, Moorish American nationals. Now, um, and why is it so important you claim a nationality, people? You must go back to our older videos for that. I know that our American Indian status is really significant, and I know that our Moorish American national status is also equally significant. The two of them go hand in hand, all right? So you must realize that when you're doing this stuff, those of us who have it have done it have seen a significant shift in what we're doing in the ethers around us, okay? I'm not even talking about the entities that we're doing commerce with. I'm talking about the ethers around us. Um, the daughters worn, oh yeah, and the little girl is wearing a Rastafarian hat with the, with the Ito colors on it. The Rastafarians we know were also the Rastafaros, okay? Um, now, the ultimate change, Helmsley is the geologist. Helmsley is the guy who, with the help of this other Indian out in um, the Middle East, Sandam, I think his name was, who wasn't picked up, by the way, him and his family perished. But it was just really neat to see the names in here because these were Hemsley. That's E L. That's a more. Um, the French National Museum. Um, again, National Museum. The tunnel where the um, the French guy died was the same tunnel that Princess Diana died in, right? Um, 
you have to go watch this movie, man. It just goes on and on with some amazing information. And at the end of it, they end up in um, the Cape of Good Hope, which is Africa, right? Africa, right? Also known as West Africa, um, also known as America. Anyways, but um, yeah, so it was interesting to, to figure out. But there was a, a clip. This video, I've put the, the link to that video in the description of the past video. And it was a guy who was talking about all the the, the wrong, um, the producer who was filming the 2012, all the stuff that he did wrong in the movie, right? But I used that initially before I was able to see the actual movie again. And um, <clears throat> it was just really interesting to see all the, the information, B-146 workers cap. Um, number 11 and I did all the numbers in here adding up all these numbers um, Hurt Yurt is a Russian guy who didn't make it on the ship even though he had paid his 1 billion He ended up trying to save his twin son and collapsing um, fell off the the, the ark Because um, they weren't letting all these people on right and it was the workers that were being subjected to all the genocide basically and Helmsley had to cry for them to be allowed on the on the ship. <sighs> it was just a, it it just reminded me of all the stuff that we're seeing today with the so-called coronavirus. Eh? Like the scene where Thomas, the um, doing business, Danny Glover's character doing business as president CEO, he is going to meet his wife, Dorothy, who's passed on, right? Dorothy. And he was um, it was first a monument, that big um, monument, Washington, D.C. fell on them or fell um, and all the debris. And then he woke up to all the um, ambulance and all the, the hospital workers. Then the floods came and took them all out. You see what I'm saying? So here you have all these so-called hospital workers or firefighters, even the scene with the firefighter at the... Um, airport where he was saying to everyone get inside because it's not safe outside and they were the first ones to go that were inside the building so um, just some stuff to, to think about um, uh, the Tibetan monk yeah he stops to pick up okay so there's a scene with the Tibetan monk who gets the key from I guess one of the elders at the um, the shrine or whatever and so he gets the key to the automobile to truck to go and pick up his mother and I guess to meet his brother, who's one of the workers on the ship. The Chinese workers were the ones that they're going to allow to die, basically. And um, which Chinese, you know, is Asiatic, right? That's us Moors. That's what they're talking about. So, um, yeah, it was just really neat. They, they stopped to pick up J um, Curtis Jackson's um, family. The doctor is the first one to get sucked in and he, he dies, which I thought was interesting. And um, the numbers on the wall, 28 minutes, they got two hours, 28 minutes. Um, yeah, and I added up those numbers as well and it all added up to 13, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it all added up to 13. When Okay, the numbers on the, the screen when they're saying how many seconds they have to the um, actual, they were going to hit Mount, I think it was Mount Everest, right? And um, to avoid that, they had to get the wrench out of the, um, the wrench had fallen into the, the, the arc, right? So it was like we threw a wrench into this whole system at the end of it out in order to move forward. So this whole thing, and then it goes back to the Mayan calendar. The Mayan calendar, you guys know, is also uh, pertaining to the Moorish calendar and our ancestral calendar, we were talking about the Julian calendar, the 13 day um, uh, time difference and how when we use the Julian calendar, we actually claim the name, right? Because um, they're saying that 13 day time difference prior to the date on the birth certificate is our real birth date, right? Um, let me see if I can. I also want to read some of the comments too, though. 
um, the gate. And then, yeah, they were saying open the gates. It's the gatekeepers, right? So we know that what we're being subjected to are these gatekeepers. So um, they have been controlling the SESCTV trust and all the stuff that's supposedly put in place for us to use to do commerce properly, right? Um, under this House Joint Resolution 192, everything is supposed to be set off, set off, set off. So they were supposed to set everything off for us in this year of the Jubilee. And then what they were doing was undermining that process, basically, and then being subjected to their own karmic energies that they produced, basically, that we weren't hearing about in the so-called media that they claim to own. See what I'm saying? So now all the stuff that they put forth for all of us has to revert back to them because it's karmic energies, right? Jessica Ra wrote, what did you mean when you said something about angels and lots of them being here right now? Um, Jessica Ra, if you can't feel the energies that surround you right now, honey, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say, man. Um, hang on. Oh yeah, Copper Aborigines was talking about um, some of the the elders were, I guess back in the 90s, were saying not to do the UCC or the non-UCC. And Copper Aborigines was saying how important it is to do the SS5 and the SF181, which shuts down um, uh, those organizations and those 501c3 LLCs. Um, yeah. So thank you for that copper apparatus. What did you mean when you said, okay, so yeah, we were just listening to our elders over the years, explain to us that there's angels and tons of angels here. Now you could see them, man. They're all over the place. Lots of them are on YouTube. <laughs> Who is the King of Kings you reference? Um, this was in lieu of someone, um, responded to, I think it was divine will wisdom said true fast true fast and meditate and listen it's in psalms please meditate and listen we are the true rulers i'm an angel with four wings and i do have a name um, from above we need to gather together and in unity we can clear the earth for the king of kings will come boy i don't have any wings i don't know about that but um that's like, whoa. Well, <laughs> anyways, um, 13 days is the change in date of the Julian calendar. Our true birth date and 13 people to change and take over the courts. The 13 people is a 13 digits people on the registered um, uh, uh, post certificates. Those 13 digits is you now owning and claiming the court with the help of the GSA bonds the birth certificate bonds, the uh, social security number bonds, the notice of set off, letter of rogatory, and the performance bonds. You can do the foreign affidavit, what we used to do, right? We would serve these affidavits. And a lot of times those affidavits were sufficient. They worked perfectly fine. And then we noticed that we weren't getting through um, on certain other issues too. And that's when we had to do more research. And that's how we discovered the they had done some GSA bonds on us. And then we had to go back and claim the entire court case with the 999 billion or whatever that we write in that box. And then the highest bidder owns the case and can now pay the so-called or set off with the prosecutor, the judge, the agent doing business judge and all the other entities. That's how um, the, um, I want to say his name from Facebook was able, when he was explaining what happened to him, when he went in to see the agent doing business parole officer, the supervisor came in and said, called him, Mr. We don't have a case with you. And after he had done the GSA bond on the matter in lieu of having to see that parole officer, right? I think he went, went back in for a stint and he came back out. Somebody said it was Pablo. That's what it was. Um, Pablo shared this amazing Facebook page that was talking about everything is trust. Um, Divine Sovereign Tarot says, oh yeah, it was about March 9th. 
I was supposed to look up side reel. I forgot. Um, let me see. The scriptures, divine wisdom and power said um, of the seer. Um, the scriptures did say that do not worry of rumors or famine and wars, but look up in the sky and then um, worry because the signs are in the heaven. Also, all their possessions will be ours and stored up for the saints in Revelation. Laugh out loud. The book of Enoch has stored up a lot of truth there for us. The Bible is all about common laws. The fallen one's children have prevented the, the law for fiat, have perverted the law for fiat. We must now um, unite in um, the brotherhood of light. And we who are now remembering that we came from above and now live in the avatar to make the change here on earth. Yeah, so we're supposed to be the king of kings. We're supposed to be supposed to be the God, Psalms 82, 6. Um, yeah, we're the heirs to the world's vast estate. We are the angels as per Los Angeles, lost angels. And um, yeah, so this whole coronavirus stuff is supposed to be all about um, the gold back securities. Uh, the gold back dollars coming in and um yeah something else i wanted to read the secretary of the treasury is notified of the pledge presumably by the transmission of a certified copy of the pledge certificate of electronic record of the county um deposit thereby beginning the uniform securitization um scam they created an account make a general deposit certificate the asset the issue derivative securities as if they're tax exempt original issue once again the secretary's delegate delegates secretary's delegates open an account identified by the previously assigned birth certificate number for the sole purpose of leveraging issuing securities against your state the infant's pledge represented by a certificate of live birth is, birth is deposited, deposited again, deposited again, generally providing the funds against which future securities will be issued. This is how the corporation taps into the estate to underwrite every security that it issues. Every indictment, citation, bill, bill, bond, charging instrument, complaint, summons, arrest, warrant, Promissory note, assessment, and mortgage. Promissory note, promissory note, promissory note, promissory note, assessment, and mortgage. This is why the gurus have told you everything is prepaid. Under the UCC, the term for value is defined as a prepaid account. The birth account at Treasury um, is the prepaid account against which all such assessments and your set-offs and acceptances for value will be drawn. The prepayment is the long form certificate of live birth representing the security future pledge of future labor. This account that supplies the funds when you mark a bill, charge the same to John Henry Doe, one, two, three. Okay, this is the social security number. This is the elusive treasury account prosecutors love to ridicule when prosecuting a patriot. Here's what we have to say about all of this stuff that we read to you guys here. Don't stop um, paying whatever you're paying until you see you get a letter or something in the mail saying that it's been discharged or set off because you don't want to be subjecting yourself to crap that you know the laws stand as law, true fact, unrebutted, right? But a lot of what we did when we first started out, we were so pissed out that we stop paying for everything. We stop participating in the society around us. We stop giving our energies to all of that crap, which was good in one way, but then subjected us to a lot of other stuff that we didn't know enough at that time to do all the stuff that we know now, right? We didn't know about the whole harmless indemnity agreement. We didn't know about the 1776 common law copyright. We didn't know about the non-UCC. 
We didn't know about the manufacturer certificate of origin to own the automobile. We didn't know about the form 206 to claim evidence proof of life. We didn't know about all the stuff to put in place and to change our status, right? We didn't know about the SF-181 to correct our status to uh, Moorish American nationals, uh, loaded tell American Indians, Moorish American nationals. We didn't know about the SS-5 to do the very same. And then we didn't know that we had to serve these heads to be um, taken out of the uh, District of Columbia jurisdiction and to now be able to use our common law, um, common sense jurisdiction, which is the Bible. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter five is our um, common law. Um, that's our, our uh, 10 commandments, right? And then we didn't know to use the 1968 Indian Civil Rights Act that our ancestors fought and died for us to use, right? And then there's a host of stuff that, like I was saying, other groups have some amazing stuff out there. And until you actually see it, it's easy for us out here to start to condemn this one and the other one and this one and that one for whatever they're doing or charging for whatever, until we see it, until we study it and research it and realize that is really good information. That's really helpful. Maybe they didn't know about nationality or maybe they didn't include that part of it. And that's where we had to go back and research that for ourselves, right? And so we can't be out here condemning any one particular entity anymore because all things work together for the greater good of those who love and serve God. All right? Put God first and all good things will come unto you, right? And that's what we say to you guys now as you're going through this stuff. You've got to be able to leave stuff on the roadway. The isms and schisms and the, the stuff you hear from entities trying to get you to um, contract with them through said frauds and fraudulent contracts, let them stay with those there because they have to deal with the karmic energies that they created over there. Leave it alone. It doesn't belong to you. We've already reported entities that we see or heard that may have used our names or um, other heirs or other entities' names unlawfully or in a very subjective, undermining way. We've reported them to the FBI, Interpol. So are they watching them closely? Hell yeah. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so you have to be mindful of that. In addition to that, we write to FBI, um, Federal Bureau Investigations heads, Interpol heads, fraud department heads, and a host of others. When you do these um, bonds, the agreements, the hold harmless and the copyright, you send those off to the agents doing business as governors too, right? And those entities you're doing commerce with, the Heads for Indigenous Affairs, John Anthony Brasso um, in Canada, Caroline Bennett, um, doing business for the Heads for Indigenous Affairs, send it off to them so they can then meet and then to the county heads and send it off to those agents doing business as mayors because a lot of that stuff stems from them, right? And then once you remedy it, send it off to the IRS commissioner heads and postmaster general and what have you. And then you start to get your nuts in a row. So what Copper Aboriginal was saying was true in the sense that when we were starting this stuff, we were told we didn't have to do anything. <laughs> you don't have to do nothing. <laughs> You don't have to authenticate the birth certificate. You don't have to do the non-UCC. You don't have to do a UCC. You don't all to find out all that stuff we had to do and then some. Okay? And that's what a lot of us use when we're doing commerce. Is we share with them the stuff we have in place for our clearances. Mm. Yeah, so... Those of you with dinars now, a lot of you have been writing to us and asking us about some stuff. And those of you who have them and can't find them, look for them and read them and see what's on them and see if that's what's going on. Um, yeah, because we just, yeah, that keeps coming to us recently. And it was revealed to us some time ago and we had written down some stuff about timelines and um yeah, so we'll see about the 2012 movie. Go and watch that and get a pen and paper and take down the numbers and you'll see the number 13 show up in it 
you'll see the more stuff, you'll see the American Indians, you'll see the calendars that they're talking about, and you'll see the allegory, the codified messages in it at this time, at this time, and how you can walk through it. Because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'll save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the north and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wing shall thou trust. His true, true shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the rewards of the wicked. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. He shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. He shall call upon thee, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Long life will I satisfy him and show my salvation. Praise be to God. So, international authorities, stop all these barking dogs. <laughs> hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that. For what reason? I do not know. At 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, stop them now so people can get some sleep, right? Um, even though we're awake, but yeah. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Go watch those movies. Go to your inner gods and stuff. Make sure you put yourself first. Um, Self-preservation. Make sure you, um, yeah, support us here. You can go to um, PayPal at themillings at gmail.com. I laugh because... Um, I just think it's funny how we're out here, right? And we're all talking about House Joint Resolution 192, but yet we still use the same Federal Reserve bills for our workers and stuff that we have to do here, too. In addition to the international bills of exchange, so we ask you guys for donations to support us here so we can continue on our journey and do our research here. So that's why I laugh. Um, you guys have yourself a great day. Go and do the research. Don't take my word for it. But yeah, if you've got those dinars, go read them and see what they say on them. And um, see if that's what's going on. Is it a revaluation in the system to lawful gold back monies? To the lawful republic, to common sense, common law. That's what we're saying. Have a great day.